guys, check this out. When I flick the switch, I can no longer go through, look, lasers with quotations. I cannot get through. And when I open it, look, behold, as you would imagine, I now have access to the previous unaccessible prototype. This is the prototype. Want to see how it's built? Then stick around. I'm Sarah from 190 Tomato. My middle name is Daphne. Duck. My name is Sarah from 190 Carlos. Big Mac. T today I'd like to show you exactly how this is built. As you can see, I have entrance and exit out of my maze, and this is a way out to freedom, as you can see. And the only way to freedom is by finding this, this lever, which I will have totally hidden in a chest throughout the maze. And once you find it and slap it on that wall, you can open the door to get out of the frickin' maze. Because who wants to be in the frickin' maze, guys? I don't like dungeons. Okay, so what you need to do is flick this one open and you can allow yourself out with ease of access throughout, which is usually previously not accessible. Okay, so yeah, it's very hard to get through there. But if you'd like to know how this is built, let's find a nice tutorial place, space, so that we can actually start to devise this contraption. And here we are, so what we need is a whole bunch of redstone, I'm not sure how much yet. One lever, about three repeaters, depending on how fast you want this mechanism to work. And one sticky piston, and of course you're going to need three sticky slime boxes. And then you need a block of choice and you need fence and another type of fence which is actually a gate in moderate layman's terms. And also you're going to need a... what do we got? What do we... we need a beacon of course, but we also need iron or diamonds. I prefer to go with iron. Yeah, I'm a cheap. I'm a cheaper man, I'm cheap. And so therefore, let's just dig a hole. And you can make this as long as you want, but it has to be three wide using iron. All the, the beacons won't work. So let's make it about three wide. You can go like a hundred wide if you want, but no. So yeah, this is going to be about th three wide, and this is how it starts. So the beacons, once they're activated, you're one step closer to home. So now all we need to do is get out some glass. This is going to be red glass. You can have any color glass, but I like uh, red lasers, quotation marks. Laser beams are usually a red, so... And here I have some gates just across there like so. And this is pretty much how it's done. So now they're closed, uh, you'll notice that it actually makes you one block a little too high. It's hard to explain. I won't do that. So let's just follow through. We need three repeaters on four ticks each, facing towards those gates. We do not need a saddle. It's one thing we don't need. Okay, so let's just connect them up with the redstone dust and come back around the front with your block of choice. You can just start to make the entrance. And this is where I'm going to put the lever. So this is where our output will come from. And that's just the way I like it there. Like so. D did I just say that's the way I like it? Uh-huh. Okay, so turn it on and you'll see all the gates open all at once, creating an all at once open effect. So now what you want to do is work on the roof. So let's build two blocks up from the redstone dust, making it three blocks up in the end, breaking those three and leaving those four across and breaking the one off the edge. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so now put your sticky pistons across like this and you're ready to frack. Faction! Okay, so now I've got the sticky piston facing into one of these slime blocks. You only need one sticky piston. Low. That's low IP on content right there. So you don't need much for this to work. It's not hard to do in survival. So let's build up the power. The redstone dust steps all the way up to this piston like this. That's it. That's it, guys. You're pretty. That's it. That's it. So let's connect. Let's connect these redstone dusts all the way to the bottom, and we're done. Okay. So let's test this out click it will block the beacons and you'll see that the beacons turn off a moment after those gates have opened so let's time this correctly let's get out some more repeaters you don't need to do this but if you want it to be precise you do so let's get out a, a whole bunch of repeaters it's about trial and error it's an experimental thing here so I'm not sure how many it's gonna take so let's just 
put a whole stack of them and put them all on four ticks because we want to drown some time out from these guys. So let's make them all four ticks. Yeah, that one as well. All of them. Every single one has to be on four ticks. And that was, should time it correctly. Now let's connect it up and the gate should open a moment after. Therefore, it should synchronize with the laser beams. Okay, so let's test this out. So when I open it up, the laser beams will turn on at the same time the gates close. There we go. That's beautiful. That works. We did it. So when you close it, it will open around the same time too. Yes, you guessed it. What we need to do now is make it look good. So let's just uh, make it look good right now real quick. Look good right now real quick. Right now real quick. <laughs> real good. Okay, so we're nearly done. Let's get out some grey, light grey carpet. I'm in the city texture pack if you're wondering. So let's uh, just... And if you weren't wondering, I was wondering if you were wondering. Let's cover that up with the carpet real quick. We can't get through no matter what. Piece of cake. A piece of cake. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. We needed some of that. Alright, let's turn it off for fanciness. Uh, test that one more time. It, yeah, it's pretty good, guys. I'm impressed. If you're impressed, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video on social media as it really helps me. And it helps my channel grow and it helps me grow and it helps me produce more great content, guys. So. I do content mostly, mostly every week, day, ish.